Hello, my name is F.A. Femini. I'm the Chief Medical Officer of Piedmont Rockdale Hospital. With the recent incident at the BioLab and the information we were provided with, we just want to reach out to reassure the community about uh, the ongoing situations. Uh, we're always here to provide the support that is needed to the community. Are elderly parents safe during this time? Yes, they are safe. So from all indications, from what the provided, uh, the provided information we have, there has been no uh, inference of short or long-term uh, implications. The symptoms you might expect is that maybe the, uh, that you could have that cold, you could have the uh, itchy eyes, and at the same time tearing. Adequate hydration. Uh, for the dryness of the eyes, you can use eye drops. And if it's uh, very persistent, you want to do facial washes, that's with uh, water. In addition to all the home remedies that has been recommended at this point, uh, for patients that have persistent symptoms that don't uh, dissipate with the home remedies, we advise that you call your primary care provider. And if you can't get in contact with them at that point in time, please go ahead and call 911. So in terms of emergency, what we do at that point is we tend to uh, get information from the emergency management team. Uh, the reason for doing that is that we want to know what the situation is so that we can be adequately prepared in respect to supply and staff. And uh, at the same time, anticipating if uh, the impacts in respect to patients that will be coming in um, and how we can take care of them. Taking that into uh, consideration, uh, one of our topmost priorities uh, in addition is that we have to take care of our staff and patients that are in the hospital at the same time. Uh, on Sunday when this occurred, we set up a command uh, center and we were in constant communication with the emergency management team. At that point, there were some recommendations which included uh, that uh, managing the air ventilation system whereby we did uh, put into action our dampeners, we did bring air scrubbers. Um, throughout the whole process of the day, we continued this uh, and we also were in contact with the EPA. Uh, they did tell us that the, uh, there was nothing toxic in the air, that you might have some irritants and that's where the symptoms that I just discussed earlier, which could be itching eye, throat and nose, uh, could be manifestation. And the remedies at that point in time was uh, adequate hydration, then use water to wash your face and in situations where you might have uh, dry eyes, you can use natural tears. One thing I would add is that Piedmont is always here to work with our community and we do appreciate all the support they gave us during this time that's uh, keeping us uh, well informed. And as uh, a hospital, we do really extend our gratitude to them for that help. Thank you. Thank you for watching Rockdale 23. Follow us on social media at RockdaleGov or YouTube at Rockdale 23.